Hi, my name's Sam Hutchinson from Newton Europe. I'm uh, an alum from Imperial College. I studied mechanical engineering um, and graduated in 2012. Um, Newton's one of the uh, sponsors for the Mechanical Engineering Society 2016-2017. Newton um, is a, an operational consultancy firm which is going through rapid growth and actually our biggest bottleneck is recruitment and um, as an alum I'm very passionate about Imperial. When I was here at Imperial, um, Mexoc was, was a large part of, uh, of my, my time here as well. I saw the welfare and the social side of what Mexoc does, quite akin to what Newton does in its culture. I very much like sort of the spirit of bringing a community together in Mexoc and, um, and I think money spent in that arena for, for, the, for the students is, gets much more bang for its buck really than, uh, than spending it elsewhere. Personally, I think uh, Newton's sponsorship of the Mechanical Engineering Society last year was very effective. Um, my internal numbers showed that our, our, our applications from mechanical engineering went up threefold, um, which was fantastic. And that, that was one of our key indicators that, hang on a minute, this is working, we're getting out to the students. The society was fantastic for us. Uh, the way that we set up our sponsorship package was, was yes, cash up front, but we were able to tailor a package which allowed us to um, incentivize the society to, to work for us. Um, and every successful student attracted more, more funds that went back to the students. So, so for me, it, it allowed us to be a bit more flexible uh, in the way that we worked and, and make sure we recruit sort of the best candidates. I think there are, there are two ways that I would like to work with Mechanical Engineering Society. Very similar to the way that we worked in the past where we are able to help sort of build a culture that sort of helps funnel good candidates towards uh, the company. But also I'd like to try and work a bit more with the students. So um, the Mexoc events over the year were fantastic and, and gave us uh, a good foot in the door to speak to students. What I'd like to do uh, is actually help pass on some of the skills that, that we get when we're in industry. So whether it be things like CV workshops, whether it be how to improve businesses and, and what we do and pass on some skills that actually either excite students into the world of operations and consulting um, or give them something else that actually is transferable elsewhere. That's what I'd like to do. So I think, I think Mexoc does differ from other societies. Um, one is the, the pool of people that have, well, who are in Mexoc. So the, the pool of people being all undergraduates and all postgraduates now um, means that this society gets a much greater reach to the students than I think most do. And I think people, particularly in this society, feel part of it. They feel sort of ownership and passionate towards it. Um, so that I find, find really important. The other side of it is I think this is a really well run and organised society so particularly the events are well organised, the committee uh, seems to be very well organised and things like um, the annual report that was off the back of, uh, sort of the sponsorship that came out this year, that was a level of insight that I wasn't really expecting so um, it's a very high performing society and I think sort of that, that links with Newton's um, sort of expectations is we, we, work, we like to work with high performing individuals. But I think there are a couple of sets of skills that allow uh, engineers in particular to transfer over to sort of working uh, in the business world quite nicely. Firstly is that analytical approach that they have. Breaking things down into first principles, seeing it in the simplest problem, being able to build it back up, is a skill that not everyone has and it's quite sought after. So that, that, that analytical ability with rigour and, and, and logical approach is really transferable and I, and I think it's something that actually most students underestimate. The second bit which actually is, is often quite is hard to find in an engineering background but is that, that the people that have the ability to have a, an interaction with somebody at a personal level not just throw numbers and, and statistics at them but really actually understand the hearts and minds of how that person works. Now that's hard to find um, and actually when you find a mix of an engineer with that ability um, you've almost found a unicorn to be honest and that's why it, it's our recruitment process in particular is quite hard and grueling but it finds these people um, and they're fantastic individuals.